This is really easy. In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to record your iPhone's screen, and then at the end, I'll show you how to share those recordings on to social media. First off, you'll want to add the screen recording function to your iPhone's control center. Control center is the settings and controls that appear when you swipe down from the top right corner of your screen on iOS. On iPhone, I'll swipe down to open control center, then tap on this plus icon. Next, I'll tap on add a control at the bottom here. I can select from any of these controls or search for one specifically with the search bar. Screen recording is right here though, so I'll just tap on it to select it. It appears in the menu here and I can move its position by tapping and holding on it, or I can resize the control by tapping and dragging on the highlighted edge. Now I can just swipe down from the top right of my screen to access control center, tap the screen record icon, wait for the countdown, and the screen recording will start. To stop recording, I can reopen Control Center and tap again on the screen recorder icon. My capture video will then save to my Photos app. If that's all you came here to learn, then thanks so much for watching and give that like button a wee tickle on your way out. Cheers. If you want to learn how to share your screen recordings to social media, etc., then stick around. So if you're a regular watcher of this channel, and if you're not, well, I mean, you know where that subscribe button is, you'll likely want to use screen recording to capture your GarageBand projects so you can share them. It's quicker and easier than going through the export process, plus social media algorithms are much more likely to show a video to people than a static MP3 file. Plus, by sharing a video of your project, you're giving music nerds like me a sneak peek at what instruments, effects, and settings you're using. Whether you're uploading to Facebook, Blue Sky, Reddit, or bleh, X, the process is pretty much the same. I'll demo this on Facebook, as it does have some of the better GarageBand groups out there. So I've screen captured this GarageBand project. Before I upload it to the excellent GarageBand users group, link in the description, I want to edit it a little bit by trimming out the start before the song starts playing and where the control center is visible at the end. To do this, I need to open my Photos app and tap on my screen recording. Next, I'll tap on the settings icon here, and on the next screen, I can tap and hold on the handles here to move the starting point of my video and cut out the bits I don't want. I can do the same at the end, and then hit done to save it and it'll be ready to upload. To share my recording to this Facebook group, I'll tap on this icon. You may need to grant access to your Photos app, select my screen recording, and hit here to upload. I'll write a short post about the song I'm uploading. Hit here and it's done. Once the video has uploaded, it will be live for other group members to see. Let me know if you plan to use screen recording on your iPhone to share your tracks down below. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to the channel while you're here. And to find out how to make your own ringtones using your iPhone, watch this video next.